Edgar Wright is probably one of the most unique filmmakers of all time, and now that I've seen all five of his films, and The Last Night in Soho might come out this year, I thought it'd be fun to rank all five Edgar Wright movies. <laughs> Welcome to another new video everyone, I'm Movie Micah, and today, like I said, I'm going to be ranking all five Edgar Wright movies. Share your ranking in the comments down below, share your favorite Edgar Wright film, which one is your favorite and why. And without further ado, let's get into my ranking. <laughs> So, Scott Pilgrim. Let's talk about the good stuff first. I absolutely love the video game and comic book style that this film has. The action and editing is extremely unique and inventive, and what Edgar Wright did with the whole style of this film was so great. I do love that aspect of the movie. Even though I don't even play video games much at all, the video game style was so well done, and I understand why so many people love this film. But for me, it is easily the most flawed Wright movie and the one that I enjoy the least. The two main characters are just terrible. I do not like the leads and their characters are so obnoxious and annoying. I also think the film goes on a little too long, because while I do like the style and story, it got very old by the end. I still appreciate what this movie did, it's not quite there for me. <laughs> I really like Baby Driver. Once again, I love the style, just like in any Edgar Wright movie. The camera work is perfect with every scene. I love the way this film is shot, but most of all, I love the use of music throughout this entire movie. It always goes with the scenes perfectly, and it fits in with Baby's character as well. Now, about Baby's character. Some people act like this is some kind of great character study while also being a fun action movie, but it's really not. I guess Baby is an okay character, and he's much better than Scott Pilgrim at least, but he definitely could have been better. For the most part, I think Edgar Wright is a more style over substance kind of guy, and I feel like this was an attempt to do something better with character development, but it didn't fully get there. I still love the action and style, but if the characters were a little better, this would move up a lot higher. <laughs> I absolutely loved going through this Cornetto trilogy, and The World's End did not disappoint at all. So I just talked about Baby Driver and how I wish the characters were just a little better. In The World's End, Edgar Wright nailed the characters. Gary King is Simon Pegg's best character in the trilogy. He's pathetic in the beginning, but actually gets a bit of an arc. I also really like the whole group of characters surrounding him, and I love that Nick Frost got to play a totally different guy than he did in the previous two. So that was definitely the most surprising thing for me, just how good the characters were. While this is my least favorite of the Cornetto trilogy, it's actually very close to Shaun of the Dead for me, and I love them all. The style for some reason didn't jump out at me as much with this one, but just the fact that Edgar Wright proved he could do great characters makes me put this in the top three. <laughs> Edgar Wright's first film, Shaun of the Dead, is really an incredible debut. The way it takes this zombie action genre and combines it with great comedy is absolutely brilliant. Everyone talks about how it's a perfect genre blender, and I agree. It's hilarious, action-packed, and even scary at times. There's just no way to explain how unique this film is. It's incredibly clever and stylistic. There's nothing really to dislike. Now obviously you can talk about the style in any of these films, but I think it feels right to really talk about that within his first film. The quick shots, camera work, and editing especially is so unique, and it's just when you watch one of these films, you know it's Edgar Wright, and that is something I really respect. Then there's also this idea of the Cornetto trilogy. I love the fact that there are these three films that aren't in the same universe, but they have the same director, actors, and they add on each other. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Hot Fuzz is a perfect film, plain and simple. I loved every second of this movie. 
Every single joke lands. It is one of the funniest films of all time, up there with planes, trains, and automobiles. And I think Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are both at their best in this one. I just love everything about it. It is everything that makes Edgar Wright movies great, the action, comedy, and style. But Hot Fuzz also has a very intriguing plot, along with all that. The corrupt townspeople and everything is a really interesting story with plenty of twists and turns. I love Hot Fuzz, it's probably one of my new favorite movies. This is the one that got the most laughs out of me, this is the one with the best action, and I just think it's amazing that Wright was able to do all these different genres in only his first five movies alone. So while I do really like all the Simon Pegg Cornetto films, Hot Fuzz does come out on top. I really loved going through this director's filmography, and I am hyped to see what he does next. So thank you all for watching, that was my ranking of all five Edgar Wright movies, and if you haven't noticed yet, I've stopped ranking franchises, and I'm going into more directors, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Right now I'm working on top 10 Hitchcock, and maybe a top 10 Scorsese eventually. There still might be franchises that I'll rank, but right now I'm going through a lot of directors, and yeah, just stay tuned for that. That's all I got for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.